A police sergeant arrested accused of making illegal weapons and selling them to ex-convicts and outlaw motorcycle clubs. Police say Greg Marinelli was making illegal handguns and assault rifles inside his Ulster County home. The Plaque Hill man is a sergeant with the New York City Department of Environmental Protection Police. The so-called ghost weapons, which do not have serial numbers, it makes it difficult for them to track, were allegedly sometimes sold from his marked police vehicle. Officials say a total of 13 handguns and assault rifles made by Marinelli were also seized after being sold. And the investigation into the Environmental Protection Police Sergeant arose after a major cocaine and fentanyl takedown in Rockland and Orange Counties last month. A Middletown man arrested and accused of rape. Police say Tyler Cole engaged in forcible sexual intercourse with a child younger than 17. The alleged encounter happened last month. The 20 year old is facing multiple charges. Nicole has been arraigned and sent to Orange County Jail. A Point Pleasant man is sentenced to 16 years in prison for trying to help the Islamic State. George Lepsky pleaded guilty, le guilty last March. The 22 year old planned to construct a pressure cooker bomb that would be set off in New York City. He told others he intended to fight on behalf of the Islamic State and would blow himself up if necessary. Some crime news now. Police now looking for two men wanted in connection to a vicious assault in Longwood. News 12 The Bronx reporter Anthony Carlo has details from Southern Boulevard and East 149th Street. Well, Kurt, it was right in front of this Western Union. Police say a man was brutally beaten Friday night. Investigators were able to pull these images from surveillance cameras in the area of the two men they're now searching for in connection to the assault. Cops say just after 8 p.m., a 32-year-old man got into an argument with two other men, one of whom allegedly began striking the victim repeatedly with a closed fist to his face. Police say the two suspects took off, leaving the victim on the ground. One man, we're told, was last seen wearing blue pants and a blue sweatshirt, a black hooded vest, and black and white sneakers, while the other was last seen wearing a black jacket, red hoodie with white writing, blue jeans, and white sneakers. We spoke to some residents who are concerned about violence in the area and others who recognize at least one of the suspects. We have seen an increase of violence and it worries me a lot as a, as a parent. You recognize one of the men police are looking yeah, for? Of course, I know him by here, please. Please. Is, but he, is he a dangerous person? Yes, yes he is. Now police say the victim was taken to an area hospital where he was treated for his injuries. If you recognize either of the men we showed you in those surveillance photos, you're asked to contact police. In Longwood, Anthony Carlo, News 12 The Bronx. In other news now, a Bronx father's life taken while trying to make ends meet. A four hire driver found dead inside of his very own car. And now police are searching for his killer. News 12 The Bronx reporter Anthony Carlos spoke with the family in an interview you will see first on 12. He has the story from Baychester. I don't know how my life's going to be without him. Latifa Toa Limi and her husband came to the United States from Africa in search of a better life. It's only me, him, and my son. My son is two years old. Alimi's world came crashing down early Sunday morning when she says she found out the love of her life, Ganu Gandano, was stabbed to death. Alimi says her husband, a registered Uber driver, according to the New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers, went out Saturday night to make some money. And I call him. He said he's going to call me back that he got a customer. His body found with fatal wounds to the neck and chest inside of his Camry on the Hutchinson River Parkway East. The Camry crashing into a parked car. We lost one of our brothers. Fernando Why, Mateo, a spokesman for the New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers, says it's unclear if Gandanel was working for Uber, another for hire service, or picking up a street hail at the time of his death. But regardless, condemns the violence. They're going to stop because they need to make ends meet. We need to get this guy off the streets. Now, although it's not clear if Gondano had surveillance cameras in his cab, the New York State Federation of Taxi Drivers says lots of app-based cab services do not require their drivers to have surveillance cameras in their cabs. This is something the Federation is urging to become mandatory so that more drivers do not have to wind up either in the hospital or worse off, losing their lives. It's a deterrent to anyone willing to commit a crime because a lot of these criminals out there, these animals, these savages, a lot of them know that Uber drivers don't, are not required to have a camera in the car. 
The Federation and Independent Drivers Guild that represents four higher drivers now both offering a $3,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the killer. Uber saying in a statement, this is a horribly tragic incident and our hearts go out to the grieving family. We stand ready to work with law enforcement to assist their investigation in any way possible. My husband doesn't deserve it. <laughs> in Baychester, Anthony Carlo, News 12 The Bronx. Anthony, thank you for that update. Of course, if you have any information that can help police with this case, you are asked to call the Crime Stoppers tip line. The number is 1-800-577-TIPS.